Arturo Vidal was ecstatic. The Chilean went into the U-20 World Cup in Canada as the star of his country's national side. But he never imagined that his extraordinary achievements on the pitch would be overshadowed by an uproar of epic proportions and that the heady frenzy of victory would end up turning into one of the most regrettable scandals in the history of Chilean football. The Chilean team were dreaming of victory at the U-20 World Cup because they had been on a winning streak since the qualifiers. But a major scandal interrupted the near-perfect campaign, complete with violent outbursts and a scuffle between players and the police. Vidal couldn't hold back his anger and ended up hitting Canadian officers who had formed a barrier so that the players couldn't interact with fans. The footballer's anger was the result of refereeing mistakes made during the semi-final against Argentina, the only rival able to beat them. Thanks to mistakes made by Wolfgang Stark, a referee whose name Chileans will never forget. Todo difícil porque era difícil hasta para uno que tenía tanta experiencia eh, controlarse porque cuando hay injusticia dentro de la cancha cuesta y saber que tú estás peleando contra no solo contra los contrarios sino contra un ambiente que no fue mejor un arbitraje como dije horrendo. But Vidal didn't let the upsetting incident keep him from becoming a world-class player and nearly 10 years later he was able to get his revenge against Argentina when he won both the 2015 and 2016 Copa América with Chile. A footballer who started out playing on dirt pitches and who developed an extraordinary ambition. He dedicates all of his success to his mother who sacrificed everything so that he could have the career of his dreams. Mi primer tatuaje me lo hice a los 20 años. Fue, fue de la cara de mi mamá, después empezaron a nacer mis hijos. Después cada tatuaje tiene un sentimiento, son cosas que han pasado en la vida. Do you know why Vidal always chooses to wear the number 23 shirt? Before becoming a star at Colo Colo and scoring goals, Vidal was an outsider. One day, the coach decided to select two teams of 11 players meaning that one player would have to sit the practice out. Arturo Vidal, number 23. But since then, he's been a permanent fixture at Colo Colo, the Chilean team, and several European clubs. And he's worn the number 23 playing for the world's best teams. It's King Arthur's shirt. Vidal tiene un carácter especial. Yo siempre lo hablé de él. Él siempre usó un, un temperamento de, de, de liderazgo. Siempre. Y a veces exageraba y eso lo hacía cometer errores. Porque yo varios discutí con él, pero nunca, nunca en mala forma. Pero un buen muchacho de todas maneras. Pero con un espíritu, como digo, de ganar siempre. And what better for football than Arturo Vidal's insatiable desire to win?